This is your booty lift and toned workout. I'm Action Jacqueline, and it's going to get spicy up into those buns. We're gonna work those outer glutes and hamstrings, so let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start standing. Grab your booty band. We're gonna go to a plie squat to a side leg lift. So I'm gonna put it right around my ankles here, and we're gonna do a nice little plie here to side lift just like that. Here we go, clock is on, reach and lift. So I want you to think about pushing that booty back and then you're gonna tuck the pelvis under as you push out the leg to the side. All right, hold that core nice and tight. Everything is tight here, lift to the side. Reach and tuck under, ribs down, good. So the main thing is I don't want you to be here when you do that leg lift, okay? So get the body nice and straight as the leg goes to the side. So we're gonna do everything on the right side for this first circuit, and then the second circuit is going to be everything on the left side. So this is a great way to get into those glutes. I know I have very sleepy glutes, so I love working the booty band and using my legs like this, activating my glutes. Okay, 10 second break. Grab that band, put it all the way up to your knees. We're gonna lower down onto our left elbow and then we're going to lift everything up just like this and lower lift and lower good so we're getting a nice little oblique work here as well lift and lower lift so actually take the hip tap the floor lift the hips up as high as possible lower lift make sure your shoulder is stacked over your elbow ribs are down nice such good booty work here. Activating now the glute med, the outer hips here. Whew. So good to strengthen up our hips. This will really help, especially if you're having any sort of knee pain when you're doing lunges or anything like that. This is a great workout to help strengthen your body so that you can feel less pain and function better. Okay, now we're just gonna lay all the way down. We're gonna extend the right leg out and Lift, lower, lift, lower, just like that. So I'm at a slight diagonal here. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Whew. Sometimes it's the simplest exercises that gets the most burn, right? Lift, lower, lift, lower. Good, keep going. Almost there, check in on your form here. Ribs down, lengthen out through the whole body. All right, we're gonna turn over onto our backs and do bridge lifts right here. The hips up and then lower them all the way down. All right, here we go. Lift and lower, lift and lower. So I want you to really press the knees out on the band. So really pressing the knees outwards. You're gonna feel those outer glutes fire up here. This is such a great one again to keep activating the glutes and then also we're getting some hamstring work as well. If you wanna add a challenge, you can take the arms up towards the sky. Keep the ribs down. Make sure that you're activating the core, tucking the pelvis under as you lift the hips up. Inhaling and exhaling with every move, making sure that you're breathing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Nice job. So we're gonna come on up and then we're gonna do a kickback. So you're gonna put it around your left ankle and your right foot. And then you're gonna come over to your all fours here like this. And we're gonna kick back just like that, all right? Here we go. Reach and reach. So a nice little kick, really press through the heel. Press and in, press and in. So feel the bottom of the glute contracting. Press, I want you to get that leg as straight as possible. Check in on your form, make sure that you're not leaning too far over to the left side. Shoulders are over wrists, ribs are in. Take a 
break nice. Now we're gonna kick out a diagonal. So I want you to think about going this way. So if there was a clock around you, it'd be around a four to five o'clock over there. Okay, here we go. Same thing with your form here. So I'm pulling my knee in. Notice how my foot's kind of turned inward a little bit, right? So that I can kick at that diagonal, kicking towards the corner of your mat. Keep the body still. Those ribs, shoulders are nice and strong. Arms are straight, so make sure you're not here with the upper body. Nice, strong, straight arms. Come on up, take the band, put it around your knees, and we're gonna do little squat touches side to side. So down here, down like that. Keep going, let's do this. Last move here, and then we're gonna move to the other side. So I want you to stay as low as possible. Notice how I'm touching the floor in between each one. Good, out, together, out, together. This burns, keep going. Woo. the other side so take that band bring it all the way down to your ankles Whew. all right let's go straight into the other side let's go a little plie and lift I'm going to tuck that pelvis under think about the standing side lifting up nice and tall as the leg lifts to the side the arms if you want a little extra challenge. Okay, here we go, lay inside. Bring that band up first. Quickly move, and let's go. Try to bring that top knee up as high as you can. Lift the hips up off the floor as much as you can as well. Push into the elbow to keep a nice strength here through the shoulders, and use those obliques. You got this. that leg out so my top leg is over my bottom leg and I just lift with a nice flex foot ribs are down good nice long tall posture up through the kind of the head feel that burn find a way to enjoy it I like to associate these burn feelings with positive feelings of knowing that okay this burn means I'm getting stronger all right all these positive things that you're gonna get out of this consistency. This burn means I'm working towards my goals. Whew. OK. 
Okay, let's move on to bridges. The hip bridge here, I love this one. Really activates the hamstrings. Remember to tuck the pelvis up. Here we go. Lift and lower, push the knees into your band. And if you want that extra challenge, take the hands overhead. Try to keep the ribs closed. So if you look down and your ribs are totally open up here at the top, then you know that you're not doing it right. You wanna make sure that you close those ribs up to activate the core, and that'll help tuck the pelvis under in the correct position. Let go of that tension on the band. Keep pressing into the band. And the more you do this, the stronger you get, you can keep adding more weight to your band. Okay, so now we are gonna do all fours. We gotta move quick, 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 quick. Here we go. Extend back and in, back and in, nice. Focus on your ribs here. Make sure that the ribs are down because that just helps to keep the pelvis in the, in the correct place. Remember, the whole body is in, involved and connected. So if your ribs are off, most likely your hip placement's also gonna be off. So let's get everything working correctly together. Nice, okay, take a little breather. And now we're going into the diagonal kicks. So we've just got two more exercises left. Let's do this. This is a great one to be doing repeatedly. So I recommend doing this one at least three times a week to really see a difference in your body, to see and feel that difference. Make sure you're kicking out to that diagonal here. And if you're really up for the challenge, then I challenge you to do this for seven days in a row. You're gonna notice, you're gonna walk better, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna just feel so accomplished. I know you can do it. Keep going, keep going. Almost there. Stand up for our final move. Put it around your knees, our little squat touches, which really builds up that burn. Let's do this. you're getting stronger means you're breaking through you're getting <sighs> toned strong lean beautiful muscles right now this is where it happens Woo. this is what you came for oh man all done amazing amazing work Make sure you cool down with one of my cool downs and I'll see you next time. Before you go, if you know that you're someone who's struggling to stay consistent in your workouts and you know that this is from the body and confidence that you deserve, you might be struggling with something called a lack of accountability, which is exactly why I created my Stretchy Fit app to give you that structure and accountability so that you can succeed in your goals. Inside, you're gonna find customizable workout plans, a daily workout schedule, progress tracking, tools to keep you accountable, recipes, and the amazing Stretchy Babe community who are literally crushing their goals every single day. So if you're ready to upgrade yourself because you're worth it and you wanna give yourself the chance to succeed and take your fitness to the next level, then try my app absolutely risk-free for seven days 
After that, it's just $9.99 a month. That's like the price of a smoothie, and you are definitely worth that. So click the link below. Join me now. I'll see you inside. Bye.